Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined by Dave Koken at Dave Koken on Twitter and Adam Trigger at Top Flight SI, both of wagertalk.com. Make sure you guys head over there and check out what they've got up for this weekend. Both guys also give out a ton of free content on Twitter and Instagram. So we're going to talk some more Big Ten. Ohio State, 21 point favorites now at Indiana in Bloomington, total 60 and a half. Dave, Indiana was just one of those teams last week where wire to wire, I felt great about my bet. They were down two. I was catching four and a half. And what happens? The game ends up landing five. This Indiana team hates covering spreads. That is what I learned last week, and it has been not the year for this team. But my question is here, last weekend versus Michigan State was a game they had the opportunity to win. They were unable to do so. Do you think that kind of takes like the wind out of a team's sails, if you will, and gives a team like Ohio State the ability to just walk in there and just trounce them? Yes and no. Uh, look, Indiana's legitimately faced the single toughest schedule in the country this year. They are number one in strength of schedule. And I think it's wearing on them, along with the fact that just they can't get any good play out of the quarterback spot. Uh, I've talked about this over and over again. Panics is not back from his, not, I mean, he's physically has come back somewhat, but then he's got hurt again. And it, it's just kind of a lost season for him. Tuttle's not much. He's just not very good. So um, they've, got, they've got problems. And I think the schedule difficulty is wearing on them because it looks like they kind of started, started to falter late in games. Now look at this as their Super Bowl. There's not much for Indiana to play for right now. So this is this is their biggest game of the season. And they're going to look to, uh, obviously, an upset here would, would make their season. The problem is, I don't think they've got any chance to upset Ohio State. Buckeyes are really rolling now. Uh, this is a, If they were to play Oregon again, they lost to Oregon in the second week of the season. Uh, boy, would I love to see a rematch there uh, because Ohio State would probably kill them. I mean, they're, they're just flying right now. But here's the one fly in the ointment as far as Ohio State. I mean, it looks like an easy win for Ohio State. The one fly in the ointment is they've got a monster game next week against Penn State. I mean, that is it. That's, that's, I think, the biggest game on the entire schedule next week. And, boy, it's easy to look past an Indiana team that's going in the wrong direction right now. It's the type of game where the team that's a three-touchdown favorite might not win by three touchdowns simply because of the situation they're in and finding it difficult to get motivated for this particular opponent. That said, the Buckeyes are still the only side I would consider. I think the any consideration of them is gone for me with the line going up two and a half points from where it opened. But Ohio State, the way they're humming right now, if they play their game on Saturday, Indiana's got no chance. Adam, it sounds like Dave is basically saying, eh, the Buckeyes can name their score if and when they want to. I do agree. This Buckeyes team, since losing to Oregon, has looked really spectacular. Adam, is 21 points too many in Bloomington? Well, Kelly, I'm not laying three touchdowns with Ohio State on the road here. And Dave made a, a lot of the points that I was going to make. So I'm gonna just gonna, I'm just going to take this second to vent for a minute. I had Indiana plus four and a half as a big play last week. They were by far the better team in that game. They outgained Michigan State by 80 yards. I felt like they outplayed in the entire game. Michigan State's best play was a, a terrible pick six. And it goes back to what Dave said last week and touched on a second ago. I just don't know if I can bet on Jack Tuttle anymore. Indiana's offense with him is just atrocious. Like I said, I felt like they outplayed Michigan State last week, but Tuttle threw a terrible pick six, uh, and they, that, that offense just isn't very good. And the concern here is that if Ohio, it feels like Ohio State right now, if they want to, can go through the motions and, and potentially win this game by three scores. Uh, Dave makes a good point. Huge look-ahead spot for Ohio State uh, with Penn State on deck. But again, it, the concern here is Ohio State right now, it feels like they're good enough to win this game by 21, um, e even if they don't give their best effort. I don't think Indiana's going to roll over by any means. This certainly isn't a step up in class because all they've been doing all year has been playing top 10 teams. So the caliber of opponent is, is going to be basically what they've seen. Cincinnati, Iowa, Penn State, Michigan State so far, just a brutal schedule. 
I don't think Indiana's going to give up. They're at home. It, like Dave said, it's it's probably their Super Bowl. So if I had to play this game, I think, especially now that I can get 21, a little bit of a key number, I'd look to Indiana. But I just don't know if I trust this Indiana offense to score enough to be able to, to cover. I think it probably ends up right around the number 20, between 20 and 24 point Ohio State wins. So it's a matter of if you end up on the right side of it or not. Uh, very slight lean Indiana, but I'll probably just pass here. I am with Adam and Dave. I too will be passing for all of the said reasons above. Unfortunately, no one's getting to the window on this team, but we do have some other videos up on our Wager Talk YouTube channel. Lots of great free content over there, so make sure you guys head over and check out all of our other videos.